Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I don't have any rap for you today. I don't have any songs for you today and I'm so sorry. But that for me is kind of like, it's all about a vibe. You know, I really don't force that. It's kind of like a freestyle. You know, when it comes, it comes. And if it doesn't, it doesn't. And today, it just don't want to come out. I was sitting here like, what am I going to give the people today? I ain't got nothing. <laughs> I ain't got nothing but some new hair and this springtime makeup. So yeah, if you want to know how I did this and just come and chill with me and, you know, catch a vibe, let's do this, okay? Let's, let's get into it. <laughs> another day, another slate. So pull up and let's play. I got this fresh time beat, bringing springtime heat. I ain't got it. Nope. Mm 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 mm. Savannah, I'm coming home. Savannah. Well, hello there. <laughs> miss me trust me i miss me too sometimes okay so as you can tell we got the ball cap on so i'm gonna be doing like a little mini get ready with me type of style like you guys have been asking like yo we miss the hair installs and stuff like that we want to see you do the hair installs so i'm back with another hair install and plus i'm going to be plugging the company of course because you guys always want to know where i get the hair from today's hair is from ali grace and i have the malaysian loose wave and as you can tell i already kind of curled the hair and i took out one but what i did was after i made the unit and all of that i just used five bendy rollers one here one was here two here and one at the top right here to kind of give it like this type of wave right here like I've been trying to master come on now camera I've been trying to master like this type of wave like I have just been living for this so I figured the bigger I like can you I figure the bigger I curl the hair with the um, bendy rollers, you guys know I love bendy rollers and apply a little bit of heat on it, throw it in my soft bonnet, we good to go. Okay, so let me tell you exactly what I got because I can't remember nothing, I gotta, <laughs> okay, I gotta look on the phone. This is from Ali Grace, this is the Malaysian Loose Wave I have in four bundles and a frontal, 220, 222s and a 20 inch frontal and I bleached the knots and all of that good stuff. I pluck the hairline and all of that. You have to kind of like customize the stuff, you know what I'm saying? As you can tell, I got little baby hairs and stuff. So let's just get started. I've been talking too long, okay? So the first thing I'm gonna do is actually take some, what is this? This is like, what is this? I think this is sea breeze. That's what you call it, sea breeze. <laughs> and I like to use sea breeze more so than alcohol, like straight alcohol, because I feel like alcohol is just too drying around here. And I notice like around here sometimes, like I'll start to peel. And I don't know if it's because I'm out in the sun more. Like as you can tell, I am <laughs> a lot more tan, <laughs> okay? But I'm just gonna soak up some of my facial treatment around this area right here. And we're gonna go in with that application. Okay, so let's get started. So I'm not gonna dilly and dally. I'm gonna be doing this the quick way. So first things first, I'm just throw this one real quick. Okay, throw this one, throw this one. Okay, sort this out right here. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna be doing this the quick way, the easy way, and the quick way is the got to be spray without the actual gel. I'm gonna spray it in here as usual. You guys know the drill. So now that I know where I want it, I'm just gonna flip it up. Just flip it up, flip it up. And I'm just gonna go in and brush on the glue, like just dab it in there. And we're gonna be doing this in sections. So I'm gonna work the front first and then I'm just gonna go ahead and lay the sides. And this is the lazy way, but it still gives a good hold. Like this stuff really holds and get my blow dryer and just go in and set that right away. And I'm gonna be using the tail of this thing to just kind of like, you know, without, so I don't press the hairs down. So that's pretty much set. And I'm doing it on high heat because I find that high heat really dries it out, like it really gets it going, you see what I'm saying? Okay, so to mold this situation, I'm gonna be using some of my, what is this? This is Stronghold Foam. Mousse, living in Japan too long. <laughs> okay, mousse. I'm just gonna squeeze it out around the hairline. And then I'm gonna go in with this little comb that I got in one of those die sets. Okay, and just 
mold away. And I am going to use a stock in that I cut up. So I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna show you like further down in the video. You gotta keep watching though, you see what I'm saying? To see how I style it. But in the meantime, in between time, make sure that you check out Ali Grace and all of that good stuff, okay? And uh, yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. I think this is my second time doing a video for them. You see what I'm saying? Their hair is really, really good. Anyways, enough talking. You guys already know I'm not gonna be doing a full review or any of that stuff, you know, if you wanna know my full thoughts on this hair, make sure that you check the description box. All the information will be down there for you. So let's zoom in and get with it. Okay, so I already did my brows and I have a look that I wanna do. I have tons of new stuff, but unfortunately for my eyes, I'm not gonna be playing with any of the new stuff that I have because <laughs> I have a look I wanna do and I'm gonna stay true to my look more so than playing with any of these eyeshadows. You know what I'm saying? Like I have a look I wanna do and I'm gonna do that look. <laughs> okay, you, you understand what I'm saying? So. We gonna leave that stuff for another video. I also got the Sigma It's Time to Prime. These are their new primers and I'm gonna be trying this out today. They sent me the whole entire collection. So yeah, I'm just gonna pick something from out of this and use this as a primer today, so. And it also come with two brushes, but I washed the brushes and I put it over there, so. Okay, you get the gist, you get the gist, let's go. Okay, so first things first, I'm gonna clean up under my brows and for that, I am going to be using the ColourPop Concealer in number 40. I'm just gonna dab it under there and then swipe under there. That's really gonna sharpen up that area and all of that good stuff. Okay, so the base that I am going to be trying is called, what is this called? This is called Ignite and just let's see what happens. It's really nice and creamy and very easy to apply, I must say. Okay, now this does come with a brush, but I'm not gonna use the brush. I'm gonna stay true to myself and use my little beauty blender, my dry beauty blender that I love to use and just really pat and blend that out. Okay, so for my eyeshadow, I'm gonna go into the Morphe 35C palette and I'm gonna be taking this purple shade right here and literally that is going to be the one shade that I use for this whole entire look. I might use a transition color depending on how it, you know, how it goes, but for the most part, I want the purple to be the show. And you know how I always love to like wing it out? We're not gonna do that, we're gonna keep it round and then we're gonna like wing it out with the blending. You get what I'm saying? But for the most part, you want this area to be really nice and opaque with color. I'm also gonna be placing this on my lower lash line because I'm gonna try and do this with just one eyeshadow. Now with my blender brush, and for all the brushes, I'll just have them in the description box, okay? I am going to tap it into the color very lightly, just a little bit, you see what I'm saying? Like there's just a little hint of color. And I'm gonna go in with that and use that type, that amount to just really soften up those edges, you know, like really buff it out. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with my Huda Beauty Kunafa powder and I'm just gonna place that under my brow to set that concealer because we haven't set that yet. And this is also gonna help to soften up that edge even more, like blur it out some more. Okay, so I notice while I'm doing this, like in the crease area is getting darker the more that I buff it. And I don't know if it's because I'm buffing it or if it's the base or the eyeshadow, but it's giving me a different effect in there. It's not too bad, but I just wanted everything to be one color, no dimension. It could be because I also have, you know, that dip in there. You see what I'm saying? Like, if I look at you, that's where my eyes crease. So I just noticed that, like it's, it looks darker in there and I'm just using one eyeshadow. Anyway, just thought I'd, <laughs> you know, let you know what I'm noticing. So now I'm gonna go ahead and line my eyes and this is by Sigma and this is their gel liner. This is called Wicked and this is a new one. I think the other one that I had was dry cause it was super crumbly, but this one is like really, really nice and creamy. So I'm gonna go ahead and give myself a nice thick wing. Okay, so it is time for my lashes, the li <laughs> that liner. It started to dry out, like it dries out really quick. That's what I noticed, like I was struggling after a while. Okay, boom, just being honest. Okay, so it is time for my lashes and today my lashes are gonna be the Vegas Nay something lash. Okay, Grand Glam, I don't know. Okay, it's been a while, it's been a while and I don't have the box anymore, but I know that these are her lashes. Okay, so. <laughs> This is the part we all been waiting for, including me, trust me, okay? I have so many things I wanna share with you. 
okay? I'm excited. <laughs> so first things first, I'm gonna go ahead and wipe up under my eyes because I packed on that eyeshadow. I know I got a lot of fallout, okay? Okay, so it's getting a lot warmer, okay? And if it's anything that I hate about my makeup, when it gets warmer is the creasing. Not so much the dewiness because I get oily and that's fine, but around my lips, around my lips, like in my smile line. It's very natural. It's a natural thing to occur whenever you wear makeup, especially if you're like me, you're always laughing, joking, and doing all that good stuff, and you do this, you see? It's gonna crease, it's gonna crease the makeup. And let me, let me go ahead and moisturize, okay? So first thing you wanna do is moisturize. And I'm gonna be using my Nivea cream. Even though it's getting warmer, I'm going to use my Nivea cream. Let me tell you, I did this the other day, and my face, looked so good okay so i'm gonna be priming to the maximum today okay so now i'm gonna go in with my fenty beauty primer as usual right on top of this and this is a soft matte primer so it's you know it's also trying to fight the oil production a little bit not as much but a little bit you know I'm gonna really rub it in there and the other day I was using my brush like I find that I need to use my fingers like for this particular step I need to use my fingers the brush ain't gonna cut it right now so next I'm gonna go in with the Huda Beauty soft no this is not soft matte <laughs> mattifying primer I'm just gonna put this into my trouble areas mostly and for this I'm going to pat I'm gonna pat it in Okay, Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer. We're gonna layer this. We are going to layer this, and we're gonna focus this right into that area. <laughs> okay, right here. And don't be, you know, shy. And we're gonna pat this in. Stretch the skin a little bit, you know, really get it in there. If you wanna push your, use your tongue and push it out. Just really pat it in there. It's gonna look ashy at first, but I'm telling you, Trust me, trust me. We're gonna go in with a second layer, now that it's dry. And if you don't know, this is an eyeshadow primer and it is to stop creasing with your eyeshadows and it does a really good job with your eyeshadows. And I, let me tell you, right here, layer it up, you shouldn't have no problems, I'm telling you, okay? And we're not even done yet, like, there's more. There is more. And for my final primer, I got the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer, and let me tell you, believe the hype, it really is good. <laughs> and it smells great. So basically, this is going to kind of give you like that really smooth look. It is quite thick, you know, because it's like a little cake type of thing. And it smells 100% Japanese-y. <laughs> like every single skincare product that I buy has this scent in it here in Japan. It smells so good and it's really, really good. So for this, it has like a little disc thing, but I don't use this because I don't know where to store that. So I'm just gonna use my brush and with my brush, I just kind of like pat it in there, like kind of pushing up on it and it picks it up. And with this, I'm literally just going to pat it into the skin. It's so good, smells so good and it, put, it made my makeup look so good. Okay, so now that I have that with my brush, I'm gonna go in with my fingers and just pat it in. I'm not gonna really rub it in, I'm gonna pat it. Make the warmth of my fingers, just work it in basically. As you can tell, it's kind of fading out. But this is so good, so, so good. <laughs> I was shocked, like all of these steps together go hand in hand. Okay, so for my foundation, I'm gonna be using 420 by Fenty Beauty. And with this, you definitely wanna use a sponge, you know, cause you wanna place the foundation on top. You don't wanna work it in or anything like that. You just wanna keep it on top of that layer without disturbing any of that primer, okay? So, that's what I'm gonna do. You just wanna pounce it. That way you don't disturb the primer. You're just layering that foundation right on top it sits on top of all of that if you buff it in you're gonna you know you're gonna mix everything together you're gonna lose some of that you know like some of that work that you put in so you don't want to do that okay so for my concealer I got two concealers I got two of the Fenty Beauty concealers I got 380 and I got 350 I did not bother myself with going with the actual layout that they have like you know if you wear 420 you get 420 concealer like that's just like one shade lighter that's all that is <laughs> for me at least you know I completely get what they're doing you know but you know I want full glam I want full brightness you know like the way I do my face 
So I decided to go with these two shades and luckily I picked the right things. Like these work, okay? So first I'm gonna go in with 390, which is a little bit more toned down. It's not really that bright, you'll see. But the, the concealers are so pretty. She really going all out for her stuff, you know, all of it. Yes, 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 yes. And with my damp beauty blender, I'm just gonna go ahead and blend all of that out. Like, this is not a first impressions video. Only one product in here. Two products in here I haven't used yet, so. But the concealer I used, I used it with my, my MAC Studio Fix as usual. And it was great. It looked really, really good. I was impressed, you know, but right now, like, I'm just loving the way I prime my face. Like, I think that is what's really doing the magic here. I'm telling you, like, I looked so good. My skin looked so good. Like, normally after an hour or so, the breakdown, you know, I try not to laugh too much. If I laugh, I'm like, <laughs> you know? Like I'm trying not to crease my face, you know? So when I did that, like I noticed, I was like, oh my God, it looks so good, you know? And I was laughing and there was hardly any creasing and my skin just looked so good and smooth. It was just bomb. So as you can tell, that is 390. It doesn't look bad, it just gave me a little bit of a highlight, not too much, you see what I'm saying? But that's not what we want. So I'm gonna go in with 350 and 350 is gonna take us where we need to go, okay? And I'm just gonna, Place that right in there, just right in there. A little bit on the tip of my nose, maybe a little bit on my chin as well. And maybe a dot right in there. <laughs> okay, I'm telling you, it's like the hardest thing to do is to pick shades online, especially when you don't have access to this stuff. I think that's why it took me so long. Like I was just like, I was, I was not in the mood to like stress myself out because I really sit there and I research and I look at videos and I look at pictures and I really try to guess because it's a guessing game. There's nothing else that I can do. I don't have access to this stuff, you know? I'll use people like Shayla and Jackie Ina as my little guinea pigs, like whatever they use, I'll kind of gauge myself. Like, okay, I want one higher, I want one lower or, you know? That's what I do because <laughs> I don't have access to this stuff. I'm being honest. Okay, so we are going to be testing this out for the first time and I hope I picked the right shades because honey. To set under my eyes, I decided to go with honey instead of banana because I'm not really, even like with this, I don't set under my eyes with it because I feel like it's too light, you know? Like I need something a little bit more orangey yellow like. Not quite yellow yellow either, you know, like. You see what I'm saying? And these smell so good. They smell so good. So now I'm gonna go in with nutmeg and with nutmeg, I'm gonna set the whole entire face basically. I'm gonna set the rest of my face. It's pretty deep. So far so good, I like it. Okay, looks really nice and smooth and matte. I'm just, I'm just gonna dust this away. It's kind of like a little modest highlight. It's not, <laughs> it's not as bright as normally what I would do, but it's still pretty. It looks really good, I'm not gonna lie. It looks really, really good. Okay, so to bronze contour for me. <laughs> I'm already brown, honey. I don't need no more bronzifications, nothing's okay. Like, okay, I see a lot of people fussing over this. Oh my God, it's not done. Honey, if you are already a chocolate sister, you bronzed, okay? You need to relax, okay? You, 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 you need to relax. Not everything is for everybody. So for me, this is gonna be my contour shade. As you can tell, I haven't even touched it yet. The embossed FB is in there still, okay? And I got the darkest one. I didn't even bother to get the other shades. I just felt like that was gonna be a waste of time for me, time and money. <laughs> Let's see what this does. This is very, very, very reminiscent of the CoverGirl Queen Ebony Bronzer without the sparkles. It's, it's super matte, okay? But I think we're gonna be, I think, I think, I think, um, I like it already. <laughs> that's what I think, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's pretty. Just to warm up the face, contour, you know what I'm saying? Yes, okay, I like this. And it's my type of reddish brown, you know? Yes, 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 yes. I like it. I think she did well with this, you know what I'm saying? Like, 
any darker than this what you need is a contour shade you don't need to be bronzified you see what I'm saying for me I'm just gonna use this as contour I'm not gonna use this to try and get bronze I'm already bronzed you see what I'm saying like okay just a little bit of to create a little bit of depth in there I like it I don't see, <laughs> I'm gonna I'll tell you if I don't like it now okay so to contour my nose I absolutely love how my face is looking this is really really nice okay I'm feeling it I'm feeling it to the maximum so to contour my nose I'm gonna stick with my Mac NW 45 powder because this is a lot more neutral whereas I could never use that powder to contour my nose like it's way too red way too deep for me especially in this area so I'm gonna stay true to what works for my blush i'm going to be using the sleek blush trio and this is the pink sprint one and i'm going to be using this mauve shade over here these are really really pigmented so you don't need a whole lot but i feel like a mauve shade would go really really well with this purple eyeshadow that i have going on here you know what i'm saying just a little just a little bit we ain't doing too much either just just then. Okay, so for my highlighter, I'm gonna go in with the Shayla Time ColourPop. She got a new collection coming out, y'all. <laughs> it's I think it's already out. I'm not sure. Um, okay, she got the um, Proceed with Caution, something like that. Okay, I don't know. <laughs> but this is from her previous collection, and I really do love this. And this is gonna last you forever. Okay, and this one is booming because we booming. Okay. Okay, so um, I did my mascara off camera. And I am absolutely in love with this look. This is so springtime ready. So for my lips, <laughs> I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty Stunner Lip Paint. And this is Unattached. Bree, what's up with these names? Are, are you okay? <laughs> but I'm going to be using this. I think this, you know, coral color is going to look great with this. So let's just go for it, okay? Let's just go for it. Now, I absolutely love the red one the first one that she came out with so i know i'm gonna love these two okay so to tone it down a little bit because you know <laughs> we need a little bit of help in there i'm gonna be using bff3 by ColourPop and just go around the edges just to soften it up a little bit guys so that is it for this look i hope you guys enjoyed this video i absolutely love how my makeup looks i love this look there's nothing in the tear duct area just super matte but very springtime it is so beautiful i really do love this and i had i had the picture in my head and i was like that would look so great it's been a while since i've done my one eyeshadow looks anyway so you know and if you really love the one eyeshadow looks let me know because i, I have another look that i want to do the same one eyeshadow thing you know what I'm saying? like it's just bomb it's really really pretty i just love it anyways my final thoughts on fenty you guys know that i love fenty beauty i love their foundation i love the powders but my only gripe is for me i know she made this especially to be a setting powder for like under the eyes as well as all over the face but for me I'm not a baker and I don't like light like loose powder under my eyes I want something a little bit more dense like right now I'm sitting here and I can see like right here looking a lot more dark and right here looking a little bit more light it still looks great don't get me wrong but this right here that is oil seeping through so for me I want a denser powder I want a heavier powder and with even with all that primer like I said I'm super super oily <laughs> especially in this area right here up in the nose area super super oily so for me I prefer like a heavier powder under my eyes that's why I love like my Mac Studio Fix and my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte like those powders they're dense they're full coverage they're they're heavy there it's a heavy powder because it's meant to be like a foundation you see what I'm saying these are to set I need a little bit more coverage and a little bit more staying power under my eyes so that's my only thing with that so with honey I'll probably just use it like how I use my Huda Beauty just to like dust on there and brighten up but for setting under my eyes I'm gonna stick to my more heavier powders nutmeg is absolutely beautiful all over the face so i'll continue to set my face with this i don't have a problem with setting my face with loose powders because that's not the issue i really want to you know like under my eyes is mainly my issue like you can see it right now like i want to get rid of that i want this whole entire area to look matte and you know one tone you see what i'm saying like 
that's just me anyways the concealers are absolutely bomb they're full coverage I am glad that I got it right on the first go so I'm gonna stick with these shades because they're right up my alley if you are doubting whether you want to get this or not definitely go ahead and get it I know a lot of you are waiting on my opinion on these I absolutely absolutely love everything I don't have a complaint about nothing the only thing is for under my eyes I want a more heavier powder that's all um <laughs> The bronzer, I see so many brown girls complaining that it's not, you know, they're, they're disappointed in the shades and stuff like that. We need more of a contour more than a bronze. We don't really need stuff like that. We can get away with just contouring and going because we're already bronze. We're already golden. You see what I'm saying? So it's tricky when it comes to bronzing brown girls. You see what I'm saying? Like the light skinned girls are trying to get tanned. That's why they do the bronzing, you see what I'm saying? So not everything is for everybody. At, at least in my head, that's how that works. I even saw on Fenty, like they did this on a really dark chick. I don't even know her name. I think she's a model. They did this on a really, really dark chick and it looked more like a blush. They wanted to say it was more sun-kissed or whatever, but it looked like a blush, like I'm being honest, you see what I'm saying? So if you're my shade and you're looking for a great contour powder that's gonna give you a little bit of warmth, this is great. It reminds me of like what I said, the, Eb the Queen Ebony Bronzer by who have CoverGirl or whatever. It reminds me of that without the sparkles. It's that type of red, you see what I'm saying? But I really, really do like this, you see what I'm saying? But if you're darker than me, this is not gonna work for you. And if you are darker than me, you don't need a bronzer. Hello, okay. <laughs> you already golden, you know what I'm saying? So, all right, okay, the hair. Absolutely love this hair. Isn't it pretty? Like super pretty. This is the Malaysian Loose Wave Ali Grace link in the description box and all of that good stuff. And yeah, until the next video. Oh, don't forget to follow me on my social media platform, Instagram, Snapchat, all of that good stuff. Everything is on the Savannah Silva. And until the next video, I will see you guys real soon. You take care of yourself now.